Good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody? Welcome to my channel. This is your Divine Feminine. And this reading is not based on any zodiac. It is just based on just you who's in front of me right now. So chances are you're the Divine Feminine in the connection. And we're just here to read you to feel. Okay? So make sure that the weave is totally, you know, woven before I snatch it. <laughs> How is everybody? So let's see what's going on. Okay, no genitalia also here. I don't want to see that early in the morning. So let's keep it inside our pantalones. <laughs> I'm using a deck that uh, dives in a way. It's a crazy kind of deck, which I love it. <laughs> the way that it tells the, the prediction is amazing. It's a bomb. Okay, so are you ready? Make sure you check out everything at Eat, Read, Love. On our website, eatreadlove.me, for everything that you need, especially if you have some rituals. We have three new ritual kits that is just crazy, crazy, crazy good. It's one for the morning, the evening, and the nighttime. Mm -hmm. It's for the mystics. So let's see what's going on. Um, let me see what you have. All right. So pondering is what I see here with the Eight of Cups. This is you, that's not them, okay? So it appears that you have walked away from someone and you're detached and not emotionally involved and you're just, it's more like a six of cups but empty, you know, because remember the six of cups, you look at the cup and there's so many things. Um, you probably, right now, you feel like, I don't even know why I have fallen in love with this person. So it's more like analogy, like you're really thinking about what what made it happen and how did I get involved? And now I don't have, it's like a change of feeling, like a change of heart. There you go. You had a change of heart with this person. Um, you, re I, I don't sense that this is forever. It can be just for today. You're saying it's like, yeah, you didn't want them. There was really nothing there. And it can just be for today. Mm -hmm. That's what I see with the Eight of Cups. Okay. Now you're detached from them. Okay. But at night you think of them, see? And I said, at night you think of them. Let me see. Um, There is some missing uh, longingness with the Nine of Swords. You're terrified about how you guys have separated. And the Nine of Swords here, like waking up in the middle of the night, thinking and thinking and thinking. That's the Nine of Swords. Um, paranoia, anxiety, and stress um, about someone that you have fallen in love once and now you guys are not together. Which means that there is separation for sure. And you're looking at the window over there and you're thinking, it's like, hmm, I wonder when, I wonder why. Um, it's not like you're trying to get to reconcile with them. It feels like there has been some unfinished business between the two of you. And this is something that haunts you. It's the unfinished business. You know what haunts me? Bills. Oh. <laughs> it's terrifying. Every time. It, they come every month. Okay. And I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. Uh, feeling taken advantage. If you see that. You know, there is a, a window that is broken. Um, this knight has taken some stuff inside that. So you feel robbed by them. Mm -hmm. You feel robbed by them. You feel like they took away the... You know, like let's just say you're you're a ro romantic person. You're this hope, ho hopeless, hopeless romantic. Yeah, hopeful romantic. Whatever. Okay, maybe just hopeless now. <laughs> um, you know, this is how you feel. Like they took away something good from you, and you know, like I can never trust anyone again. So they kind of ruined dating life for you. Like I will never date again. I will never. You know, this is what it is because of how you were taken advantage by this person. That's the Knight of Pentacles. I read this card differently. Mm -hmm. So it's not traditional because it's not like, oh, slow and steady, Knight of Pentacles. You're worried they won't commit after you walk away. You're trying to pull them back by being detached. No, not that kind, Hilda. Okay. You got the Nine of Cups over here. And let me see. 
um, you're in the process of saying like it is what it is, how it has ended. You're trying to get out of the funk. Then tin and tin and funky town nine of swords so there are good days and bad days bad days nine of swords good days nine of cups feeling a sense of relief saying that well you know what i mean we had a good time and it feels like that was it mm -hmm. but then you feel like you can never forgive them so you're still holding on to this energy how they have betrayed you six of swords over here feels detachment from them okay now this is what they did i feel like they have ghosted you and they just stopped talking to you and that's why for you it's a mystery it's like an unresolved and then you have the four of pentacles i see here that you're looking at what it's worth like does this person really valued you and you're looking at the value of the relationship also it's like an appraisal so normally properties gets appraised, they're going to scout and they're going to check, you know. So you, now you're checking the relationship. Do I really, I mean, was the relationship even of substance? Because when you look at it, it's like maybe there's nothing there. Because there's a Four of Pentacles, is barely anything. Mm -hmm. Four of Pentacles, of course, is shutting down. But this is also, it feels like appraisal. Um, it feels like this the house is going on sale, like an estate sale where everything must go. So with the Nine of Swords, you're seeing here, everything must go. I cannot hold on or cling on to this. So you feel like there's no sense. There's no more value. Like, why am I going to hold to something that is over? But remember, you're on and off with this mindset. Good day, bad day. You have the Two of Swords. Um, they made it impossible for you to move on because they left you questioning. So this is a person who just dropped you in the middle of nowhere and you're like, what do I do now? And this is what it is. Now, the moth over there is hiding the moon, which only means that you can't even, you know, you're trying to use your intuition, but it, you feel like blinded. You probably get blindsided by this person. You never thought that they're just going to do that. All of a sudden, they pull the trigger and they just left. So now in a crossroads with the Two of Pentacles, what do I do? Nine of Cups is also, should I choose myself? I mean, like, because again, you're doing fine in the morning and at night, you're like, ugh, I don't know. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, so Nine of Swords, sorry. So there is, uh, there has been some lingering thoughts. Um, this is how this person, okay, was to you with the fool. You see that unsuspected victim. You gave them your all. You trusted them. And then shebang, just like anyone else in a back alley, you got shank. You got shank. Don't go in the back alley, Hilda. Never go to the alley. You're just going to get shanked over there. So, definitely, Sal, I got shanked. Three of swords. I was a vulnerable. I let them in my life. And then they stabbed me to death. No one's going to die. No one's, you know, what I'm talking about is stabbing the heart over here with a breakup. They broke up with you. They, You felt like, oh my God, why did you do this to me? Because you were vulnerable. You're a full card, which means like you were there to experience this. But then, duk, 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 duk. your heart still is beating. You're not dead at all. You still feel something for them. But after they have taken advantage of, um, of you, three of swords with the full card. Okay. This is getting spicier than a Korean noodle. It's almost like it's, um, I forgot what is spicy in my country. Because I don't really eat spicy food. Food, I said. The others I eat. I'm kidding. Wink, wink. Eight of Pentacles. Um, so you're trying to focus at work. You see that? Because you don't even want to think about them right now. So it's like avoidance. You're trying to put this person under the rug. I put them six feet under. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. I'm kidding. Okay. Because you're trying to forget them. You're trying just to say, I just want a day where I don't think about them, Sal, but every day it just haunts you. You got the three of pentacles and my, 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 Sharona, you're even thinking, what will happen if I reach out, Sal? Because this is like you being tempted. It's like maybe I should reach out instead of me feeling stuck with the two of pentacles so you want to reach out because nine of swords you're having stress and anxiety because it is unfinished they left you blindsided you didn't get what we call closure because you really didn't know who they are and what they are 
but clearly with the knight of pentacles over here they took everything from you because you look at it it's like there's nothing here that is worthy to stay but you find this heart of yours still beating for the person that you have left or have left you I'm going to continue this reading. Link down there in the description box below for the extended reading. Make sure to check out all amazing, amazing products at eatreadlove.me for all your crystal, metaphysical, magical needs. Bye, guys.